my question for Robin and Dr. Phil, we love you, we appreciate you, and we honor you. But my question is this, how do you balance your personal life with living out loud? You're on stage, you've been in the homes of America for years and years and years, and yet you have a family and you have a personal life. How do you manage to do it all and keep it together? You know, we're really very private. Yes. And we, you don't see us on red carpets a lot. Our idea of a good time is to hang with family and be together. And uh, so we protect that time really, really strongly. Yes, if we're working, it's really a passion that we have. And then also our other, our number one passion is family. So we blend it as much as we can. And then when we're not working, we just want to be with family or we want to be at home. We enjoy being at home, relaxing. Yeah, and, I, and I've invented ways to stay involved. I, you know, Jay's in business, I find ways to do that. Jordan's a musician and I find ways to stay engaged in that. So we, we just find ways where it all comes together. Yeah. But you have to do it on purpose. It doesn't just happen, you have to create it on purpose. Now, today is Ask Dr. Phil and Robin Day, where we answer all questions from friends and viewers. One of our viewers had an interesting question that reminded Philip and I of our early days. Take a look. Hi, Dr. Phil and Robin. My name is Peter. I'm from the East Coast originally. I moved out to Los Angeles about a year and a half ago to pursue a career in film. And because of that, I've lost some friendships back home. And I'm wondering for the two of you, if you think it's worth remending those friendships with people who think I've abandoned them to find my own personal success. That is such a great question. Do you feel like you abandoned them? No, I don't. I try to keep in contact with them still, but they've kind of cut me off in a way. They don't feel like, I feel like because I moved out here by myself without them that I was pursuing my own dream and leaving theirs behind. That sounds like they should be here asking the question, not you, because you can't slow yourself down for other people. You, you didn't abandon them. I mean, maybe you're the trailblazer. Maybe you're the scout. You come out here, you kind of figure things out, tell them what you know, maybe they come along, then they'll say, hey, you, you've been a great friend. You kind of pioneered this for us. But I promise you, you can't slow yourself down because they're not ready to move. And if they have a problem with that, that's their problem. I was wondering if the two of you have ever experienced anything like that. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure, for sure. And when I read your question, the first thing I thought of was a quote by Maya Angelou that I think of a lot. And it's, uh, when people show you who they are, pay attention the first time. And I think it applies here because they're showing you something about themselves that maybe you should pay attention to because friends are not unhappy for you when you make a decision that's pivotal in your life. Just mm. go ahead and pursue your life. I wouldn't spend a second feeling guilty about it. No. <laughs> now, Rigoberto is a fanatic who has a very pointed question for me. Take a look. Hi, Dr. Phil. My name is Rigoberto McWilliams. I'm a huge fan of the show. My grandma got me into it. My question for you is, will you ever admit that you're wrong? And if so, is it gonna be in this lifetime? <sighs> Where's Rigoberto? Right here. There you go. I don't know, it's never come up. <laughs> uh, Today's the day. Let me tell you, I've been married 46 years. You think I've never been wrong? Uh, I have 200 women on staff here. You think I've never been wrong? What, okay, you, well, what planet are you from? So, okay, for example, when you and Robin have your disagreements, do you ever admit when she's right? Daily. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Daily. Because I'm always right. <laughs> do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.